What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, uh, we're gonna be continuing along with Nibble. I was doing a bit of the VR, but there is one that I am just completely stuck at. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this. Uh, there's a couple I haven't done either. Looking at assignments, I was going through them, and I mean, Spirit Up, Elemental, First Strike, Level Boost, Magic Up. It's just, it's not stuff I really need right now. Uh, I knocked out the region one. But under Biology, the mission for Headcase, I cannot figure this out. So... Part of the problem is you go up against the Mind Flayer and then two of the experimental things. The experiments, however, will latch onto you and explode, destroying themselves. And the condition is that you need to take down the Mind Flayer first. And I cannot figure out how to pump enough damage into the Mind Flayer to kill it before these things self-destruct. Uh, I've tried chain sleeping them. I've tried using stop. I could use petrify, but that counts as a KO. I just, I don't know. It is, uh, out of all of the combat sim missions I've done, this has got to be the hardest. Because I can beat the mission, but beating the mission with the condition, that is not happening. So, I mean, by the time this comes out, I'm sure somebody will, will know the strategy and, and what you're supposed to do. But man, it is hard. I was racking my brain. I was trying, oh, well, I'll, maybe I'll just I'll sleep a bunch of times. I tried chain sleep. That didn't work. I was like, I'm going to build up Aerith and then drop crazy nukes on them that didn't work what are you doing out here billy what are you doing out here um i haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately not the good kind that's for sure so i came here to train train here you don't know where you are this is the home of the chocobo sage a living legend surely you've heard of the man ah! <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? I don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. He can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the Saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training. It's manual labor. You see it too, right? What? If anyone was gonna get it, figures it'd be you. This man right here wrote the book on chocobo rearing. In fact, pretty much all the major breeds maintained these days are products of his techniques. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry! As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. I mean, I, I have her already. On water. I already found him. There you are, Selena. Well, I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it. This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha! There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam? You gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. <sighs> The Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? 
I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please, do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo... Bro, I already got these. 30. Tufts. Best 30. Do it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do 30. <laughs> My man wants 30? Yeah, I better get some good shit for 30. Um, go here for, no, hang on, I was, yeah, oh, that, that, man, yeah, way off track there. I was starting here, and then uh, when I fast trapped over, I saw the, the Chadley thing, and I was like, what the hell? Because, you know, we left the region because I didn't know where Chally was at. That's that's nice. Thanks, buddy. Can I even is this is this will this do enough damage to Exploiting its elemental weakness or pressure? Uh Okay, well hang on. First we gotta save Yuffie's ass. Mercy! 
Man, I'm that, that damn mind player is just living rent free right now. And while I'm blowing this shit up, I'm sitting there. Just all I can think about is that mind player and the hell I'm supposed to do it. Because you can stagger him with, with synergy skills, which, you know, synergy skills take a little bit of time to build up. I was thinking maybe I could use, like, I don't know, use Yuffie and Combiner with uh, Kate Sith, since they both rack up ATB real fast. Try that, but... Just ain't, ain't happening, man. Tried a couple different things and just could not get it. down here and we never found it. Tells me it has to be oh, it's right there. The question is how. There's gotta be a cave entrance. thing I'm thinking is maybe there's some uh, is this a, no this isn't an island at all hang on looks like there's a spot that would be how you get to it This is, hang on, what the hell, where am I going? No, wait, this is how I got over to you. So you're not it. Damn it. This is a tricky one. Come back outside, look for a different cave entrance. Which just kind of works because I need to go get the choker grass anyway, so I can get that while I'm out here. <laughs> They're gonna take me to the island one. That one's easy to get. That's a that's a one two. Why am I gotta figure out why I'm not getting a bird? Oh, you can like spot hop to go really quick with them. Question is, do more than 30 exist? Because if not, I'm gonna get to like 25 and be super annoyed.
kills my bird, it can jet. If there's water, it can make jets. Like it just has it has gas, bro. That's all. No. Not gas. It's a water powered chocobo. Probably to the point where I might want to, uh, it might make more sense for me to completely redo my materia. Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It should be on a nearby island. Once they discovered Mako in the area, Shinra established an offshore outpost. Oh, but they've long since vacated the Isle, so I doubt you'll run afoul of their forces. Oh, we're right here. Knock them both out. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, like, my materia, it, it, it matches, I'd say. But I've definitely been, you know, like, some characters I just have, like, oh, well, they need to have this, because this is good. Like, I'm focusing more on, put on, you know, put on, uh, materia that I want to level up versus what is the best materia for this character. And I think that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to go through and set them up with stuff that is very good for them. I mean, in some cases, like, Aerith, Aerith is set up properly. And Cloud, for the most part, has been set up properly. gonna be behind the tree, ain't it? Oh, right there. And the thing is, now that I have... Because I, I am very happy with how my teams have been set up. I like the, uh... The, uh, Tifa-Yuffie combo, the Barrett Sith combo. I think my, my combos are, are solid. So. Oh, smell, bro. Oh my god. Is it because we're in combat? Is that it? You need me to kill these things first? Right, come on. Come back out. We got treasure to dig up.
let's see. Item transmute. We'll get you. What do you need? You need stuff I ain't got. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Level limit one at the start of battle. That's pretty dope. I need to find a King Zoo. Draconic ring. Increased limit gauge. Charge rate upon blocking. That's really nice. I like that for sure. Um, and snail shell. Yo, Yggdrasil amulet. Six slot. Can't make either of them. Planet Spirit Ashwood. Planet Spirit. We can't do Planet Spirit yet, can we? We can. St. Luce Leaves. Can we get enough to make either of them? Two more and I can make this one. It's a five slaughter and then I can enhance it. We haven't done the um, Team 3 in a while. these treasure chests are. A Kirin Bangle. That seems probably good. I should probably switch Cloud out. I mean, at this point, I think I have enough that I likely won't need to worry about Gil. Which jaw it uses petrifying so I need to attack and pressure it. Good job, bro. 
during the petrifying mist thing. Kill it. So, I mean, we didn't get to petrify anyway, but still. Let me, uh. This looks like a job for Cloud. Destroy its jaw. There's a very brief moment where you can target the jaw. I'm going to hit it with Savage Assault. That's going to break it for sure. Target the jaw. We get it? I don't think we did. Yeah, we staggered it, but we didn't get it. Small damage window. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare hit Gorgon bearing. Give it all you got. You got this. You got this. My turn. Come on! Keep it up! 
now. Got it. Then Cloud can do it still. It might be too late, but I'm gonna try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boom! Oh, nice. Went off. Sorry, I can get that down with stagger half. Travel first. Gotta probably pick up more of those little chocobo things too. saw you. Just that, that gap right in front of me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I lost him again. up here. There we go. It's tucked right in there. One jump. Easy to get, but man, it was a sneaky one.
Shadow Jagged Formations. They were the little off for the outside world. Quiet existence would change dramatically with Shinra's discovery. And we began its efforts at the Shinra Manor on a plot. Uh, deliver the people now have from Pop Paper. A perfect reconstruction of Nibelheim was later erected on the site in secret and now serves as a treatment center for victims of Mako poisoning. Jesus. Well, let's go turn in this dude's things. He's probably going to be like, I need you to do more stuff. Go get 50. What do you want to bet? He wants. He wants more. Are you here to learn from the sage as well? Nah, I'm here to get some coolness. Yo, I want. It's like dragon themed. Two more, and we're getting those greaves. I know the sage is a bit of a handful, but stick with it, okay? It'll all pay off in the end. What do you have sitting in this house? What is this? Level boost? Yeah, I got enough level boost to last me a lifetime. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly, cheeky old... <laughs> Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. Face it, kid. You got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions. After all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. I was already a choco pro. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add. Think of it as a fine. Oh, give me a break. Don't... No, it's fine. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll. You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. We can do it right now, bro. Let's go. Where do you want to go? Let me actually real fast. Let me go see what what do you get for choco grass? You got any choco? Now how about plumes? Uh, tufts, golden plume, otherworldly crystal. Y'all are horn. Oh man, we're gonna need to get 45 tufts of choco grass. There's a weapon. I'll see you around. Wait, just did 30 you count? Now how about plumes? Tufts deliver 30. Okay, so I only need to get 15 tufts. Good luck out there. Which there's a bunch right here, so. Where are we, where are we going? Got a secret chocobo track down here? You prepare, done. Chocobo armband. Zoom de chocobo. Beat the sage. Alright, buddy. Oh, you actually want to race. Oh, okay. 
Let's see, what does this get? Increase intelligence. What does intelligence do? I don't know what intelligence does. Slightly increased speed if pace seventh or lower. What? Gain dash on entering the final lap, dash panels. Increase speed and acceleration on straightaways. Mmm, that could be really good. Ah. Uh. Dramatically increase speed when you're about to finish a race. Let's do that. He's got the Monster Hunter Bone Armor. Quick one, I'll give you that. I can unleash this choker bubble and it probably does things that he does not want done. Yeah, it does. You can snipe with it. That's uh it's pretty nasty. That's pretty dirty. Like that, that gave me a very significant lead on him. Oh shit. Not that it matters. Dude, that bubble is busted. I got absolutely smoked. was one hell surprise mm. well shoot you got me good and once you start tearing up the track out there the racing world will blame me for letting you loose a promise is a promise sir please tell me more about my dad and uncle sam hmm all right then what do you want to know let's see they couldn't have been much older than you are now the two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words, with their fists 
That said, the only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. Hmm. How you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself. And clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Easy, bro. <laughs> Don't gotta worry about that. I am the man with speed. All right, let's finish knocking these out real fast. Got about 10 minutes. I think we can knock out the rest of the intel. That side quest definitely gobbled up some time. See what they got for us. Please bring back all the mooglets for me, Koopo. Three minutes. Bro! God, the green one is fucking obnoxious. Go. I'm on top of you. Go. Get in there. Oh. Are they shooting him from the base, too? Dude, he is! What a little shit! No! Alright, that's... I think that's gone. Well, no. Let me... I might still be able to pull this off. From the base, dude. Alright, let's get Moki first. I 
bananas aren't that bad to deal with. So if I can get him back in. No! Hmm, man. I need to fucking dodge more. No, get get in there. Get in the base. them in. No! Bro! Oh my god. Mosh is the worst. Yeah, fuck it. Restart it. I was like, I got 10 minutes, I can wrap all this up. No, lower the difficulty? No, I ain't lowering the difficulty. We're putting both you assholes in right now. Masha Moolala. Blank range shotgun blast. So it looks like you always do it in a series of three now. doesn't throw any bananas right on top of me. Oh, no! Mm. <sighs> Fucking mosh. Uh, how do I get over... Shit. Oh, dive, dive. Got a minute left to get a twofer. No way. No way is this is this happening now. Oh my god, dude, he's like right fucking there. Probably gonna get hit by some bullshit while I'm trying to get them in. Ugh. Both of you go. No! Ugh. No! Ugh. Fucking bombs, dude. Do you want to stop? All right, maybe. Let me redo my strategy here. I'm gonna get get those two first. I'm gonna save the green dude for for last. Because the problem is, green dude is throwing out things from the base, and that's making things really fucking hard. What the fuck? Get back out there, bro. We'll get you. We'll get Bomb Man and the other dude. I got three of them grouped up. This is kind of a little risky. But I think I can push all three of you into the base at the same time. Alright, that's a three out of five. Let's go.
Nope. Mm, man, you are fucking annoying. Come on. Pick him up. Behave. Get in there. Little shits. You're a lifesaver, Eat Koopa. these moogles. Control your kids, lady. You're a true hero. Every single emporium is once again open for business, Koopa. It was Mog and Mag's hope that these special shops would bring happiness to folks all throughout the world, Koopa. And that dream lived on, passed down to their children, and their children's children, and so on, for countless generations. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, One I never day, thought mogs were, like, furry. Like those before them. Oh, before I forget, I have a super duper amazing present for you, to thank you for all your help! You're gonna love it! Koopo? Koopo. Go on now. Be good hosts and show our guest how it's done. This, this is not a gift. I better get the ability to turn things into Moogles. Then I could beat that Mind Flayer. So what did you think? Not bad. Koopo. Taint a stuffed Moogle. Man, I was hoping for some badass gear. Now that we've been reunited, the Moglets and I also, we found come see for yourself, Koopo. Maybe they got some, like, mega rare shit now. Genji Glove or something Koopo. like that. Mm, healing Materia, Fire, Empowerment, Moogles Amulet. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um... I'm gonna get this, get that, get that, um, don't really need the other stuff. I mean, I have 38 Moogle medals, I guess I'll just pick it up. It's a really easy way to make sure someone has healing. Just gonna save them just in case like more yeah, stuff right. shows up at some point. All right, intel gathered. So there are two on the map, and I don't know where the rest is. So let's grab those two. Even though we're already at the hour, I'm just gonna snatch them real fast. It's it's one one combat trial and one uh, life spring. Then I can fly around the map grabbing my thingies. The life spring is right in front of us. So that'll take literally a second. Maybe the easiest life spring we've ever grabbed. <laughs> Just right there. Good news. 
Zeus Cloud, that life spring yielded information on a very rare feat. The King Zoo rules oh, the sky. I did need that. I needed the King Zoo. Maybe in Tyrant. Yep, that big empty spot from earlier. Well, what else do I got? Let me see. I got that. that. No, I think we just wrap them. I think we bang out both. Why not? Then that way we can get started and the only thing left should be... Uh... Should be... Uh going to town actual progress exploiting its elemental weakness red this is a job for you Kill this thing is four, which should be a proto relic that'll probably pop up after we do the Shinra Mansion. Well done, you've completed. Or in spite of your excessive chatter, I need to adjust the speech frequency setting. No, stop him, Cloud. He's trying to silence me. Anyway, thanks to your hard work, I'm confident this one. Now let's rest, kill King Zhu, and then we're done. Well, technically not done. I gotta go collect choco things to get Kate set the new weapon. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should wrap, because then I can get Kate Sith's new weapon. Yeah, let's do that. We'll, we'll close out here. I'm gonna go collect the goodies, then get Kate Sith's weapon. We'll fight that thing at the start of the next episode, and then get started on Nibelheim.